Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin and talking about the flash crash that happened. I'm going to be taking a look at Bitcoin from a technical standpoint and seeing what do we have playing out over here. So, yeah, if you are uh, interested in uh, such a thing, then uh, stick with the video. We'll dive straight into that. But before we do that, I do want to jump into my Discord server and show you a little thing that uh, you might have a problem with if you decide to join the server. So some people join the server and they, and they fail to get access to all the chats that we have here on the left side. So we have news section where you get constant news updates every like 20 minutes. We have technical analysis requests. We have a technical analysis section where uh, either I or some of the TA members of the, of the server will post some analysis in there. And a bunch of chats over here. But... Uh, what do you have to do before you join in? So there are two rule chats over here. So you have the rules chat above and you have a rules chat over here. And you have a welcome chat as well and a how to chat as well. So the important thing for you to do is to click on the rules uh, chat over here. And here it says in order to become a verified member of this Discord server, you must click uh, the uh, the check mark, the green check mark that you have here over here. So this check mark, check mark is uh, basically an emoji, and you have to click on it, and only then you will gain access to all the chats. So that that's just something to keep in mind. Some people are having trouble with that, so I thought I would address it. Now jumping into Bitcoin on the weekly chart. Oh my God, Bitcoin flash crashed to forty-two thousand dollars. What do I do? Do I sell my crypto at a loss? Or what do I do? Obviously, I took this as a nice buying opportunity, guys. I don't think we're heading to a bear market just yet. This pretty much confirmed the extended bull cycle theory. Because I don't think we're going to have a, you know, a 100% move on Bitcoin in December with a pullback like this. But this pullback is healthy. Why? Because on the weekly chart, the 20 EMA, the yellow line, was a bit overextended from the 55 EMA. Now, once we are in between them, just like we were over here during uh, May and during the summertime, the 20 EMA came back down and then we got back above it. So hopefully the same thing is going to happen over here or we may just get back above the 20 EMA straight away. But this just liquidated $2.5 yeah, $2 billion in the last 24 hours. So it's just crazy. It, it is it is honestly crazy. We are resetting our RSI levels. As you can see, we were sitting over here at 68 and then we started our move back down. And there are several support levels over here you want to take a look at. And I'll show you those in a second. But uh, but generally, you know, this is this is a very, very important buying opportunity that I obviously uh, I obviously bought in the dip. I, how could I resist, right? Everything is so cheap. And I will be letting you all know what I bought in the in the Patreon. So feel free to, to check that out. The link is going to be in the description. But we were in this falling wedge over here. And let me switch to the daily chart. So we were in this falling wedge. And we've been in, this, in these falling wedges before. Like over here and over here. And they, the falling wedges usually you know, end up with a breakout. That is a bullish pattern. It always ends up breaking out to where the falling wedge was created. But here we got a cascade of sell-offs and liquidations. And this happens because of over leveraged people. If 85% of the people investing in, in the crypto space were educated and understood how the markets work and understood that, you know, major players and exchanges are going to take advantage of the over leveraged people by just you know dumping the price and it's not really the whales dumping the price obviously the retail move the markets you have to understand this whales do affect the markets obviously but they don't move it they just give the incentive or they just do something that makes the retail sell they can sell a bit of their bitcoin right to 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 scare you into selling right so all these cells are weak hands and look at Look at the buying pressure. Look at this wick. A large wick shows a lot of buying pressure. So, yeah, we're, we're back. Hopefully, we're going to come back into the falling wedge. That is still potentially what's at play. And we're going to come back into the wedge and carry out and, and then break out. 
maybe we'll form a nice double bottom over here in the next couple of weeks and then move along nicely uh hopefully we can see some consolidation but everything is starting to recover a bit more but usually when we have these sell-offs they are followed by a bit more of a of a sell-off later on so we'll see how it all goes down I did warn you guys that if you have, I did give you all the support levels on all the altcoins in, in the case of, of a flash crash like this. Hopefully you bought in the dip, guys. Not a financial advisor here, but this is the best time to be buying crypto, not selling. Over here up top is the best time to be selling. Right here is the best time to be buying. You have to understand that human emotion uh, tend to tell us otherwise, right? They tend to sell over here and buy at peaks which is the exact opposite of what you should be doing but uh let's take a look at bitcoin on the daily rsi so basically we are approaching the oversold on bitcoin and as you can see each time you are in this oversold position here uh you're basically you know doomed for a reversal very soon and yeah it's 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 just crazy how how people allow uh other other you know influencers and people like elon musk so they give they give these people so much power and they they attach their their uh, investments based on someone else's opinion which is very wrong and not that elon musk has anything to do with the dip i don't i don't know if he tweeted out anything probably he did already by this time but we we have a bearish cross on the daily chart here which is not a very good sign but you can see once we had a bearish cross here in september that lasted for a couple of days and we got the reversal soon after so this doesn't mean the end of the world this just means that we potentially can be in this little consolidation period for a bit obviously here in in may we we had the the major crash and this is a pretty big crash i don't think it's as big as the one in may but it is still pretty significant and we entered uh, this bearish territory over here and we had the bearish cross and uh, we stayed in that bearish cross since uh, 13th of May until July 31st. I don't think we're going to have the same long consolidation period and I think uh, towards March, April, we're going to have the peak of our bull market, you know. So I did think that we're going to peak out in December, but this just changes everything. And in crypto, you have to adapt your strategies and you have to adapt to the markets right the markets don't adapt to you they you have to adapt to the markets and yeah like i said buying this dip is one of the best opportunities you're ever gonna have and you know i don't know if we're gonna see a bit a bitcoin below forty five thousand dollars anytime soon of, of course if we don't have another flash crash bush but if bush what 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 is bush but if we uh start moving up from here then i don't know if we're gonna go back this low because this right here could be the low of the next bear market over here this foundation over here can be the low of the next bear market so yeah we'll see now a 200,000 bitcoin doesn't look so uh so unrealistic by march right it doesn't look so unrealistic in my opinion we'll see we'll see we have the xrp sec lawsuit coming to an end i believe early 2022 we have Ethereum 2.0 upgrade in early 2022. So just a lot of things piling up together for a potential explosion or an explosive end of a bull market. But we'll see. We didn't have a blow off top. We are nowhere in a bear market based on technicalities. We've seen dips like this. Dips like this did happen throughout the, the previous bear mar uh, bull markets. So it's nothing to worry about unless you have money that you really need. So don't invest anything you can't afford to lose. Only invest stuff that you can, you know, keep on on the exchanges or in your wallets for a good amount of time. And hey, if if you don't want to wait until the next bull market peak, make sure to have the the sell targets ready, right? Have your exit strategies if you're looking to sell. Don't think that you're going to catch the exact bottom or the exact top of the market. That's impossible to do. You can only do that, you know, based on luck, right? But you don't want to, you know, you don't want to play with luck when it's about, when it's, you know, when your money's on the line, basically. But that's pretty much it, guys. A little quick update. Really, nothing to worry about. I'm actually happen happy this happened because uh, we are getting to reset our our targets over here on the 
uh, and our levels on the oscillators, the RSI is coming back into the oversold, so that when we go up here, we have a whole new wave to start off of. So it's 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 really great. It's really great. I'm happy this happened, even though, you know, I want our markets to prosper and to have healthy growth. But, you know, having as many coins as possible for that bull market top is also very good. So I'm stacking up those coins and I'm having my sell orders ready and basically don't don't uh, don't change your plans midway through. That's a very important thing to have in mind as well. But that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. We do have a Discord server and a Telegram chat for those who are interested in this community that we're building. Great people in both chats will help you out with technical analysis. Anything you might have a problem with a transfer, with an exchange. Uh, people know stuff in these chats and they will help you out immediately. So feel free to join us over there and follow me on Twitter as well. I do post DA on there and we do have a Patreon where I share my sells, my buys. We have a, we do have low cap gem calls early in there as well. And I tend to share a lot of useful information in there as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Goodbye and good night.